What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another part install on the Miata courtesy of Moss Miata. So I want to say a quick thank you to Moss. Of course, as always, all the links to the products and stuff that we use in this video will be in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. But today, if you own a Miata, you're probably familiar with this. This is the busted up frame rails. If you've ever looked under your Miata or another Miata, you've probably seen this before. So what we're gonna be doing today is installing a set of frame rail reinforcements that slip over your factory frame rails and this is gonna stiffen up the chassis quite a bit and protect those factory frame rails. Now to get started, we're gonna be drilling holes through the factory floorboards. So you're gonna need to remove your seats and pull back the carpet some. I already have the seats out of my car. You're also gonna wanna make sure to get your car jacked up nice and high. What I'm gonna do now is pull back my carpet some to expose the floor and then we'll get to fitting up these frame rails and start drilling. So I was actually looking underneath of both cars before I get started here and it looks like my frame rails are actually in really good shape. The frame rails on the NB are very bad, probably some of the worst that I've seen. If yours look like this, you might actually have to do a little bit of straightening before you put the reinforcements on because they might not fit over if your frame rails are bulged out like they are on this car. But yeah, take a quick look at the condition of your frame rails before getting started. Alright, once you've got your seats and carpet out of the car, we're going to want to come underneath. And this is the passenger side frame rail. We're going to need to remove the 10 millimeter bolt holding that bracket holding the brake lines. There's one there and one further towards the rear. So we're gonna remove these before we slide over the frame rail reinforcements and then these will go back on afterwards. I've got this driver's side frame rail fitted up now these are a pretty tight fit, but that is good because once this is all bolted up, it's going to help really support that factory frame rail and really strengthen the chassis. But what I ended up having to do was take a hammer and kind of straighten out my factory frame rails. The sides were just kind of bulged out from being, I guess, bottomed out on things over the years. And it was not allowing the brace to go on, so you're probably going to have to take a hammer to your frame rails as well. I just tapped the sides back in kind of flat and the brace slipped right over. So I've just got a floor jack holding it up right now. This is the driver's side. This is the front of the car. You're going to notice this little cutout. This is going to go on the inside front edge of the frame rail. So now we're looking at the front outside edge of the frame rail. You can notice this seam here. Moss recommends having your frame rail positioned a quarter to three eighths inches away from this seam right here. So right now I've got about a three eighths gap, so this is good. I'm going to keep the floor jack under and we're about to get ready to drill holes through this. All right, I'm getting all my tools together to get ready to drill these holes and I've got a center punch. So I'm just going to run through real quick and go through all the holes and center punch them just to make it a little bit easier. But this is the final size we're going to be going to. It's a seven sixteenths. So first off, I'm just going to do a pilot hole with a smaller size and I'm just going to keep working my way up until we get to 7 sixteenths. So the bolts are going to go in from the top down, so from the inside of the car down. It's going to be bolt, washer, and then on the bottom side it's going to be washer, nut. So I'm going to go ahead and knock out drilling all these holes. We'll drop some washers in, get the first one secured, and then it's just repeating the process on the other side. All right, I've got all the holes drilled on the first frame rail. This is probably where you're gonna to wanna to call in some help. So Eric's gonna go inside the car, drop the bolts through while I go underneath and tighten them. He's also gonna be up top holding the bolt with like a wrench or a ratchet while I tighten them, the nuts on the bottom side. All right, just finished up with the passenger side. This is definitely the harder one of the two because of those brake lines that run along the frame rail there. You have to hold them out of the way while you're trying to get the bolts threaded. 
and while you're tightening the bolts. Definitely helps to have a second person up top holding the bolts as you tighten them. But this install is now complete. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like underneath and then we're gonna take it for a drive and see how it feels. All right, I just got the car on the ground and I'm not gonna lie, already. It feels like the door closes are a little bit more solid. It's starting to get dark, but I really wanna see how this thing feels, so we're gonna go for a drive. All right, first impressions. Haven't driven a whole lot yet, but I definitely do feel a difference. It honestly feels like the car rides a lot smoother, like it takes all the bumps and everything better. A lot of times in Miatas when you're going over bumps and things like that, you can really feel the, like, the chassis flex, like the doors and stuff, you might hear rattling or from the top, like especially with the hard top, I'll hear it squeak and stuff as I go over like dips and bumps in the road, especially like if I'm pulling out of an angled driveway or something like that. Usually when I pull out of my driveway, I can feel a little bit of flex and I'll hear the hard top squeak a little bit. I had none of that pulling out of the driveway. It feels very smooth over bumps. Turn in feels very fast and strong. Definitely wanna drive it a little bit more. I think I might take it out tomorrow morning before we wrap this one up. But yeah, first impressions, very good. Liking it a lot. I'm gonna go take another lap around the block before calling it a night. All right, you guys, I've gotten a good amount of time in driving the car with the frame rail reinforcements on. I really, really like them. I think this is one of the top mods, chassis mods for the Miata, right behind the roll bar. I think I'd like to experience uh, fender braces on my car as well, just so I could compare. But I have driven another Miata that had fender braces as well as frame rail reinforcements and a roll bar, and it felt very responsive and very solid. But from my experience on my car, similar to the roll bar, when you put these on, it's going to make the car feel more solid, it's gonna ride better, the suspension is just gonna be able to work better. The thing that stood out to me was the cornering. The turn-in is very fast, and mid-corner is where it really stood out to me. It felt very stable. The car did not feel jiggly at all. You would turn into a corner and it would stick right where you put it. That felt really good to me. Not a super crazy like in your face difference but I think it's definitely noticeable and I like the way the car feels a lot with these frame rail reinforcements on. But that should just about do it for this install and review of the Cobalt frame rail reinforcements for the Miata. Link in the description below to check these out for yourself. If you have any questions about the product or the install let me know in the comments down below. But other than that Thank you so much for watching, have an awesome week, and we'll see you in the next one.